Houston, we have a hunger problem, and a local nonprofit called Second Servings is trying to change that by providing 1,000 crockpots and vegetables to Houstonians in need by the summer of 2020. Culinary instructor and owner of Smart in the Kitchen, our friend Marcia Smart, has developed a simple soup recipe to go along with the donated crockpots. Welcome back to the show. Thanks for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Let's talk about Second Servings, first of all, and how you got paired up with them, because this is such an incredible cause here in our backyard. If they are such a great organization. Um, I just love what they do. They rescue perishable and prepared food that otherwise would get thrown away. So think about all of the conferences and sporting events we have where there's delicious food left over that could get delivered to a shelter or a nonprofit that can feed people with that food. So um, I just reached out to them on Instagram because I loved what they're doing and here we are today. It's so <laughs> great. One of their partners too is Imperfect Produce. This of course gives produce a second chance. Um, Brandon and I have subscribed. We get fresh vegetables that maybe don't look perfect. But, but taste great. But taste great and are just as good. So today what you're trying to do and one of the missions of this Crock-Pot giveaway is to make food more accessible. Healthy yes. food, right? Yes. And this is simple, what you're doing. It's so simple, and it's called the Give a Crock campaign. And what they did is put together a box of produce and a small crock pot and a cutting board that Bearings donated and mm. um, Penzi spices and this simple recipe to give people a healthy dinner to make at home. And these all went to New Hope Housing in Houston, and the residents only have a refrigerator and a microwave, so that way they can plug in the crock pot and be able to have a warm, healthy dinner at night. Fantastic, it's and amazing. some great partners as well. Yes. So what will you be preparing okay. today, so, a soup? Yeah, so what we decided, and this is really how I make a soup without a recipe at home all the time, um, but it's just a base of aromatic, so whatever you have, it can be onion, garlic, shallots, leeks, and then you add in vegetables like carrot and celery, which okay. is mirepoix, the base of so much, and then whatever vegetables you have on hand. So at home, if you have random vegetables that are about to go bad, like you know half of a zucchini and some squash and potatoes, chop them up, put them in, and we just used water for this to keep it simple. You could use chicken stock if you want, and you can use fresh or canned tomatoes. Okay. Um, and it just cooks on slow all day and comes together and creates this delicious homemade vegetable broth. Um, and then there's also Minute Made rice in the box, so you can add a little bit of rice at the end and just thicken the soup base and add some more fiber. And um, you could also do that with a can of beans at home or right. whatever you have on hand. Um, and I know we have some here, yes, so we're going to give that a taste. That. And what I did on top of that is I just garnished it with some of these carrot tops, mm. which are this great thing that you don't want to waste. You can make carrot top pesto, mm. you can use it to garnish, you can chop it up and add it to the soup for a touch of green. That is so delicious. It's delicious. Yay. It's I mean, absolutely it's so perfect. Simple. Um, and I also wanted to just show you guys part of what Second Servings is doing is cutting down on food waste and part of food waste is using what you have so you don't throw it away. Right. And also like just wash your carrot. There's no need to peel it before you cut it and put it in soup because you're wasting part of the skin if you're peeling it and it's just going to get cooked down all day. So just rinse it, slice it, put it in. Um, and also if you cut your onion well, you're wasting less. So I'm just going to cut it in half. We only called for half an onion in this. Um, but like I said, you could use leek, shallot, whatever. And it can be a red onion, a white onion, a yellow onion, whatever. Um, but when you cut this the right way, you really get left with just a little bit of waste, which can go in a compost pile. So you're Always. maximizing the food usage. Some of these numbers, by the way, are staggering. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Second Servings started in 2015, and as you mentioned, Marsha, they're picking up the leftover food from yes. sporting events, convention centers, hotels. Totally. To date, they have rescued more than three million pounds of food. Yes. That's $20 million worth of food. $20 million. And when you think about how much food at grocery stores, you know, starts to go bad on the shelf, like right. they go to Trader Joe's every morning and pack up their van with the produce that's just about to turn and, you know, not necessarily go bad, but maybe can't be sold. Um, and it, look, I just want to show you guys, this is what we're it. left that's with. That's it. 
when you cut just it, the end. just horizontally, horizontally, that's not a word, horizontally, vertically, and then slice it. And it's, it's all perfect. chopped and ready for you. Reducing food waste and also uh, reducing the amount of hungry people in our Houston. Marcia Smart, yes. thank you so much for stopping by. You guys are by. so welcome. A great program with Second Servings. And if you would like to connect with Marcia or to learn more about how you can help Second Servings with their mission, you can find a link on our website.